the oh, and that the one with the um the, the little girl, yeah, um, the, the fairy tale one. Oh yeah, I forgot what that was I called. I was gonna say the Rock, but he always yeah, yeah, he's back. too big now. Now he's gonna have to play defense. You know what I <laughs> mean, but that's his position anyway. He was a linebacker, but he can't be the quarterback. You know, God rest his soul. But the perfect because of the face and the image, you know, to be a quarterback, Paul Walker. You know what I'm saying? Remember, I think Paul Walker is a decent. He has a face of a, a like a, a quarterback. Yeah. Of a quarterback. Freddie Prince Jr. Maybe, maybe I wouldn't not not Ben Affleck, not Ben Affleck. No, but there's a few people out there that like you know you got quarterback faces. Zach be, Efron. Zach you, Efron even got his quarterback face, but I can't if, take like, him serious though. Can you imagine if like if Johnny Manziel made an epic comeback and became like this this superstar? You know, be the perfect person to play him. Who? Justin Bieber. <laughs> And who would be the coach? I don't take Justin Bieber serious either. Like, I, I couldn't buy that. I would have to wait till I come on, on TV because I couldn't buy really? to go watch Justin Bieber I as a starting quarterback. Johnny huh? I can see him as Johnny Mazzell. No, he could play Johnny Mazzell, but I'm I can't take Johnny. I'm saying that aura of, like, people who hate him. Like, can you imagine him on a football field and people just, like, had to deal with Johnny Mazzell like, when they when they sacked him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you mean. I can see that. Actually, guys, a little, a little trivia. Well, it's not trivia. I'm about to tell you guys. Johnny Mazzell's celebration was a part of my taunt. In my, my senior year when I got a sack or, or a big hit, you know what I mean? But it was a little bit mixed of Johnny Manziel and Cam Newton. You know, I used to show, after I got a sack, I used to show the money, but then I used to open the shirt like Superman right after it. And it was beautiful. The whole, you know, when having the whole salon do it when they know I get a sack, it just brought back some good memories. I'm sorry. I'm smiling right here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, here's a few more points. I want to go on this football movie, right? Yeah. Who would be the coach? Funny guy. Who would be a funny guy to be a coach? A fu- you were one. All right, so this is the thing. Now it, it could go two ways. It could either be like a Remember the Titans, a serious football movie, yeah. or it could be a joking football yeah. movie. You either be a joking or serious, like a, like a kid-friendly joking football movie. Oh, then it gotta be um, Frank Caliendo. huh? Frank Caliendo. Okay. Yeah, Frank Caliendo. Or um, the one that plays um, um, on um, Paul Blart, <laughs> Kevin James. Yeah, yeah, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin James, because Kevin James can play Rex Ryan. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> in, a, uh, in, a, in a football movie, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got, if it's a funny one, guys like that. But t- to be a serious football yeah. coach, <sighs> any given Sunday, any given Sunday. Oh, what kind of coach? What actors are serious that you could see being a coach? Samuel have, Jackson, like Coach Carter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, Look at the way he coached the Avengers. That's true. <laughs> that's true. Uh, who else could be a serious a serious coach? Oh, you sounds... don't want to make it too serious where it's like like I feel like an owner though would be like a mafioso type guy. Like an Al Pacino, like or yeah, Robert oh, yeah, De Niro. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um Yeah, that's 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 kinda hard. That's kinda yeah, hard. Will Smith. Be... Who? Will Smith. Will Smith could be a good a good head coach too. Yeah. Motivation. You know he's gonna bring the jokes, yeah. but you know he could be serious too. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that would, that would be a great idea. Morris Chestnut. Morris Chestnut. Yeah, he's older now, so he would have to be... Um, What's the movie that he was in? The football movie he was in? Best Man Holiday? No, 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 the football movie. I, I know he was in the one with The Rock, but I thought he was in the one that one with The Princess, but I thought he was in one that was a little bit more serious, if, too. If we were to make the other teams, right? You know who would be the owner for the other team? Who? You ever see the James Bond movie where they go to Harlem? And those those black guys are like running to Harlem. Yeah, that'd be like the opposite team. You know those <laughs> those those mafia guys like that. So you so you were want mafias running the other team. Yeah, it's, it sounds like you want to make another a uh, uh, longest yard part three. Basically, <laughs> that's what it sounded like. The mafia. Yeah, the longest yard was a, a good one also too. That was a good football movie. Not the old time one. Huh? It was a long time. I haven't seen it in a long time. The one with um No, I'm saying Adam Sandler, but yeah. I haven't seen it in a long time. Oh, you remember when Nelly didn't have the cleats and he was he was but woo you, you gotta go watch it. They had Michael Irvin. If he was still alive, you know who'd have made it you know who'd have made a good Rex Ryan? Who? Chris Farley. Who is that? Mm. Oh, well, I'm not sure about Oh, my foot in my dad. Cedric the Entertainer. Cedric the Entertainer, nah, he would be a good. He would be a good one also yeah. too. But it, 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 it comes back to our point. What was the last good sports movie that wasn't a repeat, a sequel? Something stands um, out alone. The Longest Yard. No. Oh, The Longest Yard is a repeat. What was yeah. the movie with? Um, it was oh, man. It was like they, a streak. A streak was broken. And then like they, they oh, 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 with the football movie, and the dad was hard on the son, and he was the starting running back, and then he didn't break the record at the end. Did you talk about that one? 
I think it was like when the game stands tall or something like that. I think so. It was like a big college streak, and they lost. And they lost, and then they won. They still won the championship that year, but the dad wanted the son to break the record, and then he didn't break it at that. I know what movie you're talking about. He was the star running back of the and team. Like one of the one of the players died or something like that in the beginning of the movie. I think so. I think. What is the football movie that I heard that was great? My brother, I haven't watched it yet. It came out the other day, and it was the kid who he ended up the guy he ended up having cancer or something like that. Um, and he was a defensive. I think he was a defensive player. And it came out the other day. What about Blindside? That was a perfect, serious, and good movie. Oh, also, oh. too. Also, that Eagles movie. Uh, oh, um, Invincible. I think. It was Invincible. That. Remember that one? Vince Papali. Vince Papali. Player? You remember the, the Eagles movie? And then he he walked on, and he came up, and he was. You had to watch Invincible, man. I don't remember. Oh, my. No, 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 no. You you a sports guy, so I know you watched Invincible. You had to. You had to. That That's honestly one of the best the one of the best um, sports movies I've seen, it too. Like, remember Draft Day? That was a football movie, right? But that wasn't involved was, with a team. It was just all about Draft. It was about yeah. the Cleveland it Browns, good, right? It was a good movie, though. It yeah, it was. It was. And the, the the ending was good, too, and how, he how everything all, was. How he flipped all them picks. Yeah, and how he ended up. Yeah. And he got his guys. You don't remember this one? And um, Caller yeah, on Sports Mark Talk. Yeah, was the star in the show. Caller. Hey. Yeah, who's calling? Hey, guys. This is uh, Jimmy from Brooklyn. Just real quick. Uh, Brian's song about Brian Piccolo and Gail Sayers. Ah. You guys familiar? That was uh, True Stories. One of the, I mean, a real kid jerk. A great, great, great movie. Really? Okay. Really? Okay. Yeah, really? I forgot about that. Really, a fantastic movie, and like I said, it was a true story. But uh, if you don't drop the tear at the end of that one, uh, you, you I, don't have a heart. I'll be honest, <laughs> I did, I did. There's only yeah. one, there's only one movie I cried. <laughs> you got to be honest, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and listen, I just want to say, you guys are doing a really, a really, really good job. I've been listening to you guys. You guys are knowledgeable and uh, humorous at the same time, and just uh, keep Thanks. it up. Fellas. Much appreciated, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. What part of Brooklyn are you calling night. from? I'm um, calling from uh, Coney Island. Coney Island. She's the big Coney Island. Yes. Oh, yes. Off the, Please don't off... tell me you're a Nets fan. No, 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 no. Good, no. good, good. <laughs> right off the Brighton line over there. Yeah, exactly. The Q and the B. Exactly. Uh, That's how I uh, go to the beach. I played, I played, she over there. Place to go. Yes. All right, Jimmy. You have a good night. You do the same, guys. All right. Thank you. Uh, right. Thank you for calling. Speaking of Sheepshead Bay, I, I played um I played them every year in my high school experience. Sheepshead Bay High School, tough f- tough football team, but they play, they play their their um school and their football field is across the street from like a a big a huge fish market. The whole Ooh. the whole game, you just so, you so, can't even focus. Like you got to ask the play, like what was the play two so, three so, times? You like what was um, the play? So, huh? so, so <laughs> like we. So when the Sheepshead Bay stinks, they really stink. Yeah, no, because they, they, they're they called the Sheepshead Bay Sharks, and there's water around there, too, and stuff like that, but it's a big fish market. It comes right through on the field. You playing, man? It was so real. Like, um, my senior year, it was so bad, I even heard the refs talking about it, like, this game need to hurry up and finish. We got to get out of here. <laughs> that's how that's how bad it was. It, it smelled that bad over there. So I should have asked him what, um, what it was called, but there's a fish, a big fish market right there. By the stadium, it's just oh god. Five one six Oof. five seven memories. two <laughs> seven four four zero. We do have a phone line open. If you have a phone call, something to say on your mind, whether it be a compliment, complaint, a death threat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about a death threat. Um, you just said uh, there's only one movie you cried for. I'm sure we all have cried for one movie. What was it? What was that? Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. But I did cry. I did cry for that movie. I've cried for a lot of sports movies. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna cry for one movie. One movie. You never you would you wouldn't never think it was. Oh gosh. Cinderella. <laughs> it, 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 no, it was, it was actually a kid's movie. Which one? Lady in the Tramp. Nope. It was recent, like it came out like, Frozen? five years ago. Nope. It was a kid's movie that came out and like it was a third movie. Toy Story Three? Yeah. Sold the toys? Like when no, nah, well, I thought they were gonna die in the end, man. That's like the first. That's like the first kid movie I really, really thought they were gonna die. And then the claw. <laughs> there's there's two movies I've cried for throughout my life. What? The first one is Pursuit of Happiness. Uh, with Will Smith and his son, he's homeless, trying to get a job. You guys watch it? Yeah, yeah. You guys need to watch it again. I'm sure. You. Don't look at it. don't look at me crazy. That movie's sad, right? You no, know, I'm just I'm just mad that like they really try to make Jaden Smith Static Shock. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't understand what they were trying to do. No. And the second movie, which is also a great football movie, the um, The Express. You guys watched it? No. I watched the Pole Express. <laughs> no, you guys didn't watch The Express with um the the kid who played um not Jim Brown is the Hall of Famer. Um, the, the the guy who's supposed to come right after him. He he got drafted and he died of cancer. You guys didn't watch The Express? Please, guys, by next Thursday, you t- please tell me you guys are going to watch The Express. You're going to probably cry. See, I got I to gotta catch up with this Southern Zelig. Uh, if, oh. if, if I finish it. <laughs> oh, guys, yeah, 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 yeah. You watch The er- Express? Ernie Davis. Ernie Davis. You didn't watch that? I remember, like, he I gets into Syracuse, up. right? Yes, yes. I still, catch up. I, I still haven't seen a Godfather. You know? oh, my, KJ, yeah, KJ. Dennis Quaid plays the coach. Yes, KJ. Please, I remember please, that movie. Please. Oh, who, who could forget that movie? Exactly, KJ. Please, please. Please, I'm actually I'm begging you to watch that movie. That is one of the best football movies you. It, it's so it's up there with Remember the Titans, and you know how good that is. Ooh, I'm a, I'm, I remember. I'm gonna I'm I'm <laughs> I'm put it. I'm gonna put it up there with Remember the Titans. I'll edge Remember the Titans. I, I don't know movie. if it's that high. Yeah, come on, remember, man. No, no, come on. I, I'm gonna give it like this. Remember the Titans, but that is a good football. And with the action of football and all that, you really need to really need to watch that movie, man. It's beautiful. You need to set a reminder or something because. That that movie was emotional, a great football movie. He was the man. That had me on the edge of my seat. And you know what's the craziest thing too? So he died before he died I think a few a couple months after he got drafted. So guys, just imagine we just experienced the draft. Imagine the um I hate to say it like this. Who was the number one overall pick? Um, um No no no, um Miles Garrett. God forbid guys. Imagine Miles Garrett dying like Next month, that was like that's that, God forbid. That, 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 that the Celtics something. player yeah. died, mm-hmm. Lambias. Right? Yeah, exactly. So, so, so that's what it was like. He was the number one overall pick. He had just he won the Heisman. He just broke. Listen, that's how you know this kid was good. He had just broke Jim Brown's mm. records at Syracuse, and we all know about Jim Brown. So Jim Brown had just graduated from Syracuse. He came. He was a star and all of that. But here's the thing. So they just both went to Syracuse. Now, guess what? The Cleveland Browns was gonna pick him up also. Mm-hmm. So it was going to be him and Jim Brown in the backfield. They was going to run a true running back formation. It would have been a crazy party. We would probably would have still been talking about it up to today. Mm-hmm. Those kids, that kid's moves. Woo. <laughs> so, that's something different. That's something There's different. There's also a Met player that had that too. He got into a car accident. He was coming up to the Mets. He was in Sports St. Louis. He got into a car oh, accident. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I heard about that story. When was that? Like two thousand, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had heard about that story too, but um, yeah, man, Polix. I mean, not Polix Express. See, you got me saying the it. Express. The, the Express. If you, <laughs> all the everybody listening, if you want to watch a great football movie, watch the Express. It's a great the story about Ernie Davis. Great football man. He, him, and Jim Brown. I'm gonna tell you guys this would have been competing for who was the best um, Brown of all time. He already had passed Jim Brown's records in um, college. Jim Brown. It was big because you know obviously around that time there was a lot of segregation and stuff. So Jim Brown had got cheated. Everybody has said Jim Brown had got cheated out of the Heisman, but he he had made it so so yeah. clear cut. That he had, you know, what I mean, he he won the Heisman. He, had the easier he beat path. out a Texas. You know, it's real when you beat out a Texas quarterback. Remember for the Heisman, yeah. He lived in the easier path, Jim Brown. He only got noticed because he played for a white school, Manhattan High School. Who? Jim Brown. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's true. But Jim Brown had to go through the same things he had to go through. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But on the football field, those two would have yeah. made something, something great. I think his number, his jersey is actually retired in the Cleveland Brown Stadium, and he didn't play for them. Wow. Yeah, I think they actually retired his jersey in the Cleveland Brown Stadium. Yeah, so watch that movie when you guys please, when you guys get a chance. So those are the two. Those are the two. I can finish this documentary by next Thursday. Yeah, those two movies thing because the first thing you see, he's having a great season, and then he's just washing his hands in the bathroom, you know, and then you see blood dripping from his nose. Mm. I'm telling you guys a story, and then here's a here's crazy man. Sad man. Sad. Basketball movies. Who's the best? Like, was the, like Mike or Space Space Jam? I don't even know if those two was the best basketball. I love Coach Carter. Coach Carter. Yeah. I love Coach Carter. You uh, you like what Coach about Carter? Comedy though. Comedy. Like Mike or Space Jam. Like Mike. I'll take like Mike too. I'll take uh, Edge it a little bit. I know you think of Space Jam, aren't you? I, I know you think of Space Jam a little bit. I know you was Mark. Yeah. I know you. I know you. But no, I'll take like Mike a little bit. But the best basketball movie. Uh, make, make, Coach Carter. Make Coach Carter. You like? Did you like yeah, it? I saw that. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that what was about uh, Drake. Best ever had music video. 
<laughs> listen, man. Listen, on the show, one thing we're not going to do, we're not. <laughs> First, First name, name greatest. greatest. Come on now. One thing we